Right, how's it going boys and girls? My name is Dr. Campbell and today I'm bringing you another visual basic tutorial and today we're going to be explaining ifs and else statements and well ifs include them but I'll be explaining them. So we're just gonna make a visual basic um basic Windows form application, I'll just call this just call this um tut. I'm just gonna gum it. Right, so we'll just let that project create. And it's probably going to take forever to create this project. Um, God, right, guys, I'll pause this when you get back when it's finished. Right, so just after I finished it, it uh, just after I paused it, it started finished. So, um, I'm just closing the door. Start off just by adding two text boxes and two labels and a button. Um, so now we'll just add that button, hold that button, and we'll just Take a button down to the bottom, just try and place it in the middle. And I'll just place this here. That one about here. I'll put the text box about here. Just just do whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to put the text box here like this. Just call it user name. Just do user name and password. Oh crap. The coding of it now. So we'll just have that and we'll just put a colon on after the username. So now we'll just have it. Simple login form, and then we'll just have we'll just make this login, and in the next tutorial, I'll be showing you guys. Um, this is the next or the tutorial after that I'll be showing you guys about link labels. Um. So, ifs, if statements, right, so, login, this is all you need, the button code, so, you'll type in, if basically explains, like, in a game, say, if it's raining, um, message box, like, it, it's come up, like, something saying to tell you to go put on a coat or something, um, so, if you know what I mean, so, um, if, Text box one dot text equals to and then just put quotation marks and then just put enter then automatically put a then in 
message box. And then you would put um, just username or password as incorrect. Now, if you want it to show for both of them, um, what you do is if textbox one dot text equal um, and textbox two dot text equals then. So if I leave both of them empty. It's gonna go spoil when I'm making a video. Wait, what? Right, give me that. I'm gonna close some things down. A few things down, right? Let me just close a few programs down. Close this down. Oh my crap. Come on, end the packets. End. Right. end yourself, crap. I mean, this just sucks. Right, so start. Better not do this again, right? <sighs> Give me a minute. I literally used this code not long before I made this video, like yesterday or something. And text box two. so hard. Right, here we go. If this doesn't work, I'll actually give up on this code. Because I used this last night in the program for login form. Which Yes, it works. So that is the coding. I will put it in the description down below. Um, that's two lines of code. That's all you need. Then obviously I'll put an end this. So say I put username or password is incorrect. I wonder if you could use or, or as a command. So if I put H in there. Yeah, that's right. So put that. If text box one dot text equals um then quotation marks, then nothing inside them. Or text box two dot text equals then message box username and password is incorrect. And, um. Else now. Else. Form. To dot show. See you now that brings you to this. Which at then form to also. You dot hide 
you're, you're probably best putting that in just so it hides the form one. And then for the your password text box, if you put one in, down here it like it'll have password char. Now what it'll do for password char is if you start it, it'll whatever symbol you put in a letter, it'll bring that up. And so I could put a dollar sign, which I always put in, by the way, um, because I think they're so cool on it. Um, what happened in my pass? Whoa, she's old. What happened in my password? So, um, let me just check all my videos. Um, so that is if and else statements. I think I said then statements. No, did I? I think I did. Anyway guys, hope you guys have enjoyed this throw. If you want more throws, be sure to subscribe and like just so I know that you're appreciating these throws and comment what you would like to see and Visual Basic. So um anyway guys, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye girls.